Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you saw the title and clicked on it and it's true, I am pregnant. <laughs> if you're shocked, like just imagine how I felt finding out and I've been keeping the secret from you guys since November. I feel like I've been just holding on to this and we are so excited to finally share with you that our little baby will be here in July of 2023. It actually feels crazy that I'm like even making this video and saying this out loud because we've just been keeping it a secret for so, so long. But I just wanted to catch you guys up on all things pregnant and everything that's been going on during pregnancy and basically just like get you caught up from when we found out to now because there's so much that has happened that you guys don't even know about. So so I'm going to try to answer some questions that I feel like you guys might have. So we found out on November 20th, it was like a little bit before Thanksgiving and basically we're going to post the like us finding out video on our joint channel. So if you want to see that footage, like just go on there and watch it. It's kind of funny actually, <laughs> but basically I was a little bit late for my period and we were about to leave for a trip. And so Johnny was like, I really think that you should take a test. And I was like, no, I'm fine. You know, but he's like, well, we're about to leave. And like, I just really want to know. So I'm like, okay, I take a test. And long story short, it's positive. <laughs> and we're both like, um, wait, what? We were not expecting that. I take pregnancy tests like basically every month because I've been off of birth control since December of 2021. So like over a year that I've been off of birth control. So my periods are always pretty irregular. I take tests pretty often and I just kind of thought it would be, you know, another test, but now our lives are changed forever. So we found out November 20th and then our due date now is July 29th, which is so crazy. It feels like so soon that it's going to be here, the baby. I'm just saying it because we don't know if it's a boy or girl so baby will be here so so soon before we even know it another question that i feel like people might ask is if we were trying and the answer is no we were not actively trying for a baby we weren't going to start actively trying until january of 2024 so about a year from now is when we were going to actually start trying for a baby but this little baby wanted to come much much sooner but i was tracking my ovulation and stuff so I thought I was doing really good and I was from December 2021 until November of 2022. So like 11 months, I was doing pretty good tracking it and then I, I don't know what happened, but got a little bit off track, I guess. So once we found out and we found the OB and like doctor that we wanted to go to and everything, we made our appointment and they wouldn't see us until I was at least eight weeks pregnant and so then when I was eight weeks we went in for our appointment and here are some of the clips from that very first appointment. So basically at that appointment they like confirmed the pregnancy, did an ultrasound and everything and it was so crazy seeing a baby in there because we had known from, we found out like a little bit before five weeks so we had known at like four and a half up until eight like not knowing you know what this baby is even doing in there or like his baby healthy and so at our eight week appointment when we got to see baby and everything it was just so refreshing i was like oh my gosh there's actually a little baby in there and then we just had our second appointment earlier this week so i will put the clips from that appointment in right here So this appointment was basically just a checkup. They were just, you know, checking on baby. So they did another ultrasound and they said, everything looks great. Baby is super, super healthy, which I am so, so thankful for. I feel like if you have been pregnant or are pregnant, you know that like in between appointments, you're just like, oh my gosh, is baby okay? Like we hadn't seen baby since, I think it was like December 19th or something was our appointment. And it just was like, it was basically a month that we had no idea what was going on and so at our appointment when they were like no baby's still really healthy i was like oh my gosh praise the lord so we have another appointment in february just like a checkup they're not going to do any ultrasounds at that appointment and then in march is when they would do the 20 week anatomy scan and we will find out baby's gender we're going to do like a little gender reveal in march so Stay tuned for that but you could always leave your guesses down below if you think it's a boy or a girl i have like a gut feeling of what i think it is but i don't know if i'm gonna share yet 
maybe in another video when we like test old wives tales or something i'll share what i think but ever since we found out about the pregnancy i was like oh my gosh i think it's this so we will see if my gut instinct is right once we know the gender so as i'm filming this video i am 12 weeks and five days and baby is the size of a lime which is so crazy like a lime seems really big for some reason so in just two days i will be officially out of the first trimester and into my second trimester and so i wrote down like a bunch of things during the first trimester i just kept like a little pregnancy log so that i could talk about my experience with pregnancy i know every single woman's experience is completely different and you're not even going to know how your body is like gonna handle it until you go through it but i just wanted to kind of give my take on it because i feel like being pregnant has such a negative connotation and i know that a bunch of women truly like are so sick in the first trimester and so i don't want to disregard that or anything but if you are not pregnant yet you've never been pregnant and like that's basically all that you know is like the negative things i kind of just wanted to talk about my experience because honestly i have had i mean this is my first time ever being pregnant so i'm not really sure but i feel like my pregnancy so far has just been perfect like i have really not even been that sick at all if anything it's just like lack of motivation and just kind of like exhaustion but i'm not like sick throwing up or anything like that like week three and week four this was like the week before we even found out actually um i wrote down around 6 p.m i get nauseous almost every evening and i keep waking up to pee in the middle of the night but like the getting nauseous in the evenings i thought i was about to start my period and so that wasn't really like a red flag for me for like oh my gosh you're pregnant i was just like oh my period cramps are awful like this month they like waking up to go pee a little bit i was like oh my gosh am i pregnant i think i woke up in the middle of the night to go pee like three or four nights in a row and i never ever do that like waking up in the middle of the night like 3 a.m waking up i never do that and so i was like wait a minute why am i doing this like that did cross my mind but then in week four it sh i just wrote down like the nauseousness it wasn't um waking up to go pee so it went away and so i was like oh everything's fine like there's no baby and then later that week we found out <laughs> so i only was like getting nauseous the week before we actually found out i was pregnant and then basically like up until i found out and then once i found out i wasn't getting nauseous anymore which is like pretty crazy but that whole time i never threw up or anything it was just like a very nauseous feeling for week five i wrote down that my boobs were really really sore so this is like when we already know that we're pregnant but my boobs were really sore and i was literally starving all the time i could eat a huge meal and right after i'm starving so that was crazy it was weird because as much as i like was starving every single food would make me nauseous and like i never threw up or anything but it was just like the thought of food was like oh my gosh i'm nauseous so it was a really weird thing because i was so hungry all the time but couldn't eat anything but luckily that was only that week so just like week five was all that lasted and then for week six i did actually throw up i wrote down on december 5th i threw up for the first time but it was very very weird so basically i was like brushing my teeth at night before bed and i'm not sure if i just like gagged myself a little or what this is like tmi but you know what i'm just trying to be open about my pregnancy journey so i don't know if i like was like scraping my tongue too much or what but i threw up a little bit like in the sink and it wasn't enough like i didn't run to the toilet or anything i just like washed it down the sink and then i went to johnny and i was like i just threw up and he was like what and he was like do you feel sick or anything and i said no i feel totally fine my stomach was completely fine i just i just threw up a little bit so i don't know if that was actually like baby making me throw up or just you know i like gagged myself i have no idea but week six i was also back to waking up in the middle of the night to go pee that week for week seven i wrote down in capital letters craving fruit slash orange juice and then a little sick in the nighttime and then honestly from like week eight to week 12 now i have not been sick at all like i said if anything i just get tired a little bit easier like in the evenings I will get pretty tired after dinner time i'm just like okay i'm ready for bed but then i have to remind myself my body is literally making another human so of course i'm gonna be tired and it's okay to just like take the evenings to rest 
I will be fine all morning and all day and then like right after dinner I'm like I'm ready for bed so that's like I feel like the biggest like symptom no not even symptom side effects of being pregnant I don't even know but like that's something that I've just been going through but at my first appointment the eight week one the doctor had asked like had I been throwing up like morning sickness or evening sickness or anything and I was like no I only threw up one time and it was like barely anything and she was like well that's great and she said if you haven't experienced morning sickness and stuff like by now you're not going to the rest of your pregnancy which I don't know if that's like 100% true, but so far it's been true. And as soon as she said that, I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Because I basically didn't have morning sickness at all, actually. And like I said, I know so many women are throwing up constantly in their first trimesters. And it's just every single person's body is so different. And you don't even know how your body's going to react. But I just wanted to like not scare anyone. Like sometimes pregnancy is totally fine you know i was just feeling a little nauseous in the evenings but it was nothing crazy i know some people have it way way worse than that so i've just been feeling very blessed and lucky for how easy everything is going but i was like talking to my mom and she said that she had me and then my brother and she said both of her pregnancies were so easy and like she never got sick or anything and so she was like i feel like you're gonna be fine so that has been super nice i don't know if morning sickness and stuff is genetic or what but i feel like my pregnancies have been pretty similar to my mom's with like the whole sickness thing eventually i will film a second trimester recap and a third trimester recap too because i know that so much can change just from like first to second to third you just never know and i'll be sharing pregnancy vlogs and videos like that i want to film a baby names that i love but we aren't using so i have a lot of baby content coming up but if you are like i hate baby content that's okay i'm still gonna be posting other videos too you know normal vlogs and get ready with me makeup routines night routines things like that the last thing that i wrote down that i wanted to talk about in this video was like my cravings that i've been having during this pregnancy and it's just been so bizarre things i have been craving the most are fruit like i wrote down it like earlier in the first trimester fruit orange juice smoothies like anything fruit related fruit bowls like yogurt bowls and acai bowls anything like that i have been having yogurt bowls with fruit and granola and greek yogurt for breakfast every single morning and i never get sick of it every single morning it tastes like heaven and i'm like this is amazing so that has definitely been a craving and then the other thing i've been craving is mexican food normally like pre-pregnancy i love mexican food but lately it just sounds so good like chips and guac and we have this mexican restaurant in st pete that we love to go to it's called casita taqueria i'm pretty sure they have this chicken bowl type of thing on their menu that i love and since being pregnant that has sounded 10 times better than any other food it's amazing i'm like should i get that for dinner tonight <laughs> but those have been my biggest cravings like fruit acai stuff like that and then mexican food which are completely different things like one is very sweet one's like more salty kind of spicy so i don't know it's just been a little all over the place also i am so surprised that no one had picked up on my pregnancy at all i feel like in my youtube videos lately i have just been getting so short of breath like ever since we found out in november when i'm editing my youtube videos i just think everyone is going to know that i'm pregnant i can barely speak a sentence without like gasping for air i just thought that everyone would be able to find out and that also i feel like now i think i'm starting to get back with it but for a while my tiktoks were just not very creative at all i felt not really like myself i it's so weird because i felt like myself like even though i was pregnant but i just could not bring myself to make tiktok videos i was like no that does not sound fun right now and i don't want to be in front of a camera i just felt very very ugly to be honest because my body is changing so much and my face was breaking out like crazy i can't even describe it's starting to get back to normal but i think in my last vlog even it was either i can't remember one of my latest vlogs 
I was like, my face is breaking up so bad. And internally I'm like, well, I know it's because I'm pregnant and my hormones are just crazy, but I can't say that because no one knows that we're pregnant yet. But it was so funny. All of our friends and family that we told every single one was so shocked and did not know it was coming at all except my mom she was like not really faced at all she was kind of like oh i saw this coming i think because i had to tell her over the phone so i had to send her something and like she opened it and facetimed us but she said that once i said like oh i'm sending you something that she thought we were pregnant but i was just like how we could have been sending you anything i told her we were sending her a late christmas gift like why would you think oh they're pregnant but Anyways, she was not shocked, but everyone else was like, you've been hiding this so well, I never would have known. So anyways, now I can share. Also, I feel like in every Instagram photo, I am sucking in my stomach. I have brand deals with bikini brands and stuff. So it's not like I can just wear oversized, you know, I'm wearing like literal bikinis and in all those photos, I'm like trying my hardest to suck in, especially on TikToks, like get ready with me for the pool or like my swimsuit haul, like whatever. I'm just like, everyone's going to be able to tell. Everyone's going to tell, <laughs> but no one commented anything. The only thing that actually anyone has said up to this point on social media was when I cut my hair, one person commented and was like, it's getting mommy. And I was like, oh no, she knows. <laughs> but I don't think she meant it. Like, I think you're pregnant. I think she just meant like your haircut is giving mommy, but I don't really know. Anyways, that was the only comment that I got and I was very shocked. I feel proud that I was able to hide it so well. My dress has this little like ribbon thingy on it, but here is what the bump is looking like today at 12 weeks and five days. The bump is bumping today. I don't even know if you guys can see because of this little bill but it looks pretty big to me but i'm super happy that i don't have to hide it anymore and i can share all of this with you guys my little youtube community this is going to be so fun obviously i'm a first time mom so i'll just be sharing all the things that i'm learning too along with you guys thank you so much for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss all my other videos we're gonna be posting like telling our friends that we found out telling our family how we found out all of those things and the video footage of me and johnny finding out we found out together so i didn't get to tell him in a cute way or anything which is not ever how i thought i would tell him but we just i had to take the test and he was here so we found out together so make sure to go watch that video too on our joint channel i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye